Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 46 of CCL First Round Match between Sindane and his Lizardmen and Elliot and his Skaven. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. Howdy, I'm Elliot's biggest enemy, a squirrel. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but a squirrel that has hands. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we've started off. Elliot has got a pretty good. There's a gut on the LOS because he's at five, and uh, we'll dodge away from the tail on two plus with a reroll. Um, when we're starting with the Dacker, glorious, quite nice, quite a nice team from Elliot. We've got mighty blow jugs tackle, mighty blow piling on tackle, um, strength ten, strength three, move ten, sprint gutter. This gutter is much better for the one turn, but but it does need a push, which you can't always get. With uh, yeah, like obviously, if he'd rolled the move earlier, he wouldn't have taken the sidestep. He would have taken the, the sprint. But amazing, yeah. isn't it? Move ten, edge five, leap is just incredible. Um, yeah, it's it goes yeah. where it wants. Glorious. Honestly, player. in some games, I wonder like sidestep also like at least forces him to force coaches to not be so lazy and actually go for pushes on the move ten to make it easier. Oh, yeah. Instead of just doing the hand. Yeah, you you wouldn't have taken it though first. Like that's the thing. Obviously, he's taken yeah. it after block, but like. Uh, like you obviously take it block sidestep, but if, uh, and if he'd if he'd got it at any point, like if he'd gone block, I just sidestep leap. But it just after movement, you've got to take sprint. With, yeah. For that, for the night. That I didn't uh, like the blitz. I did not like the blitz on the skink. I did not think that was worth doing. That. So there's only eleven men for the for lizard men, mm. and he's only got a babe. But like, I just hated. I just hated. I didn't think that was worth it. Not like, not a fan of doing a dagger instantly splitting off one of your main ways. That's going to be to break through on the other side and to target the skinks if they try and overexpose. Not a fan of getting it tagged in the backfield by an unskilled Saurus for mm. like all time. No, no, I didn't like it. But there you go. Who can say if it's right or wrong? They are indeed lizard men. Yes, I mean, come on. We, <laughs> I, I always say, I always say, men when Amazons are playing as well. It's just easier. <laughs> it's just easier. So there we go. We've got the ball in the edge five leaper, so it's pretty much impossible to defend against the edge five leaper. So even if he doesn't break through with a dacker, he'll still be able to break through with a dacker. And actually, this yeah, has actually worked out great in taking this guy off because it's 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 actually so now. Although my instant reaction was, this is a bit crap. <laughs> there are only five Saurus for the. Uh, for we the didn't. Uh, we made the mistake of not realizing that uh, Eliot was playing against the AI, who will just base down players. <laughs> yeah, but, and um, like, well, he's got to right, otherwise he stands mm -hmm. up and blitzes his kink again. So, so which he does anyway, I guess. Yeah, which he just does anyway. So like. It's uh the skink being there is the weird part. The skink can just be outside the sports right? Yes, yeah, yeah. But and now he'll base him from here and run away, yeah, which is what he should have done from the first time, but still. But this is still good though, right? He's one on one taking out a strength four guy. So he's he's already letting him break through. So it's actually pretty good, I think. Uh, that's a good trade to make when, when he's when he's already down with Saurus as well. The big strong Saurus team, uh, obviously able to, in two turns, instantly close the distance and start smashing into rats because <laughs> they're a very balanced and fair team. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they are one of the harder teams to, to dacker against, to be fair. This is so, so strong and so fast. And sidestep on the skinks I... as well, so they've got like oh, yeah. a, the positional control aspect as well. I can understand why people say just kill the skinks because outmaneuver and beat up Sora seems impossible as advice. So I can see why people try and simplify to just kill the weak players because it just doesn't make sense that there's another way to beat the team. Yes, I mean, that's all you can say, right? Like, this is why people asking for advice is kind of a, kind of a pointless endeavor anyway, right? Because the advice is be good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Like, there's no, there's no simple little trick that is gonna like you know massively up your win rate against any race or anything or any match. It's just, it's just kind of pointless. So like, all you can do is like. There isn't one little trick that makes them so mad at you, makes all doctors mad at you. Yeah, exactly. Can find out. Yeah, it's just, there's just not a thing. So. Can rats. Yeah, we start in the middle of the field. We're just gonna be on the other side of it now. Yep. It's fine. Yeah, they're annoying, aren't they? Oh, 
nicely basing all of the Saurus. So it's just up to skink team six. Yeah, but they can do it. He's got he's going for the ball sack. Mm -hmm. I mean it's a three plus with a reroll to get in because the stunt in it's two D because he's got Maybe just splits on the line right actually. And just to get the sidestep around. Bring the put the um Saurus on the ball or something. Nah, he's, he's, the fact he's tagged, he's definitely blitzing it, isn't it? But yeah, wh whether it's the right play on Could he go for the beat? Enough. Could he actually go for the strength four break, oh, break tackle? tackle. Oh yeah, shit, he's got break tackle. Didn't even see yeah. him. Yeah. Alright, go for BT tackle, 2DB, then. right? Yeah. 3DB. 4. 3D with tackle. 4. Recovery with Stunty here too. Yeah, yeah, couple dodges. Oh man, that was a bit of uh, that was an oversight by uh, yeah, Lord, wasn't it? Oh dear, he's in a bit of a pickle. He, Whew. that, yeah. Completely forgot about it. Looks like you've just forgot about break tackle there. Or over or underestimated his opponent's willingness to go for it there. But I think it was absolutely the right play. He does have, you know, obviously like a million recovery because we're asked, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just yeah, a leap, leap obviously to the tackle. Maybe it was, maybe, <laughs> maybe it was a trap sack. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so, because <laughs> the, um, I think the BT is still going to be able to get there next turn. Yes, no, of and course, go for another trap sack, but, but Dio would say it was. <laughs> yeah. Especially if he makes all these dodges. But I just still think he just gets there if he wants to. So you just push the, uh... You can push the line right out of the way. Yeah, yeah, one D there, that's good, isn't it? Let's get these two back. Oh, these yeah. Two free. So now, now we can, can now Okay, can now we can tag break tackle. Yeah, yeah. alright. Attack the break tackle, attack the break tackle. He's going to do it, he's just going to do it with the block, yeah. isn't he? Which I think he probably should have done that the other way around, if you ask me. Is there a chain on? To get the, uh... To get the break tackle source up? Move the... Loner skin yeah, the left yeah, block we'll down for one DB, block for a two DB. Yeah, it take a lot of effort. No, not a lot of effort, is it? It's just one dodge. One dodge and a power. I, I I don't think he needed to do a dodge, I think he could have just walked in to do it. It was, no, it was a one DB and a two DB needing a power. Well, well there's a removal. Oh, he's got break tackle anyway, so he's he is yeah he's in anyway yeah. Sorry, I was it didn't need a chain, did it? It just needed to be this. It was easy. Uh, yeah. If he's in, he's in range. Yeah, he's in range. It's two GFIs. Yeah, so he he doesn't need to clear him then, does he? Because he's got break tackle. Yep. Yeah. Like tagging only works if you've got to make him dodge twice, mm -hmm. and he didn't make him dodge twice. So. <laughs> Sindane's gonna done a good job of finding these two. Yep. Oof, not oh. not a good job at rolling powers though. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I would have liked him to take the push there, just so that um, because now there's basically no way for because now the scale and gutter can just do his normal movement. He's out of the range of the uh, source basically. The pushes. So I think uh, I would have liked. How was the to push the better? Pu uh, oh, never mind. He has size up. I was. Yeah. If he didn't have side step, I would have liked to take the push just so you can stay parallel to the gutter runner. Yes, if, if he didn't have side it. step, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but he does. So it doesn't matter. He's still he had to go all that way and he's still only just out of range of getting hit. Yep. It's like it's insane, isn't it? It is insane how fast this is on. So stupid. Yeah, I think maybe against the brick tackle. Elliot maybe shouldn't have attacked <laughs> with that break tackle around, but never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Elliot like killing the skinks because he apparently doesn't need to. He's also preoccupied um, dancing around a break tackle, so. Well, Elliot's not killing the skinks. He's going for getting his own. He's going for getting his own players killed, uh, which is the which is most people's usual tactic against lizards. Is uh, he's yeah. getting, getting your players smashed to bits by strength four. And My not face, your being face. Able to is hit a time honored right? tradition against uh, against lizards. 
Just, here's my face, hit it with your source, please don't break it. Yeah. Over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. So miserable. This, uh, the, the thing about this, killing the skinks is you can't just choose to kill the skinks. <laughs> It's the same problem with the the DACA critics have of you can't just choose to score in two turns. Or you can't just choose to score in eight turns. If you're or bad you can't I be fair. Just kill game. gutter runners. It's, it's weird no one says that just kill gutter runners. Like yeah. it like it would it be hard or something or just kill the war dancers. Yeah. Just kill the other team's most important players. Yeah. Except honestly, it's more true the like gutter runners they only need one, but no one seems to realise that with skinks like Lizards need one skink. Yeah. On defense, they kind of want more, but they really want offense. They need one skink who can pick up the ball. They need more than that. <laughs> the skinks are a mega structure. Oh my god, that's another team that I need to make mega structure. Holy shit! Watched uh, watched <laughs> Moonfall last night. And <laughs> And if there's anybody here who hasn't watched Moonfall, which is most likely everybody, since it was a, it was an absolute massive box office flop, <laughs> it's one of the funniest films I've ever seen in my life. It's so terrible. It's so unbelievably terrible. Um, so yes, it's either a zero out of ten or a ten out of ten, depending on your point of view. Hmm, sounds interesting. I might. How long is it though? Two hours. <laughs> oh god, it's so long. Yeah, but you you never I, stop I laughing. Be like an hour, a brisk hour and a half at, uh, at longest. Yeah. Moonfall, Moonfall. Honestly, it's it's hilarious. It's it's not a bun. No, it's, it's brand new. It's brand new. It's like a disaster movie, and boy, is it a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> So it's genuinely so good. <laughs> oh god, that was a bad misspell. If hopefully it was a misspell. <laughs> yeah, Moonraker. Moon, ah, Moonraker. Yeah, ah, and Skyfall. Okay. Yeah, if if you combine Moonraker and Skyfall, then you could get Moonfall and <laughs> you could have a mashup fun film. But no, um, it's it's Moonfall. The moon is falling because it's a mega structure and it makes. Uh, it makes gravity not work at all, and it's it's insane and hilarious. It's completely like the special effects are horrendous. It's it's. I've I've seen reviews and I decided not to check it out, but I'm bad for watching movies generally. But yes, it looked it looked awful. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Some tallies in it. I mean, that tells you pretty much everything you need to know about it. Off-brand, um, co off-brand co-star of, uh, the Cornetto films. <laughs> yes, Bezel. Hello, Demi. It is, it is made of, like, 30 feet of concrete. Yeah, it literally is in the movie. It's, it's made of, like, 30 feet of concrete. Um, Americans really love fat British people to be stars in their films and TV shows for some reason. <laughs> yeah. We really love them. Yeah. Portly, short-haired... British guys with sometimes usually with glasses. It's like our favorite thing. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? The strange, the strange American obsession. I'm sorry to play Blood Bowl Dummy. <laughs> what choices in your life led you to that moment? <laughs> uh, probably that deal, yeah. That's <laughs> why purely belt that was so perfect. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, humans are aliens, and it's just—it's just—it's just absolute insanity. It's genuinely hilarious. I, I very much recommend. You wouldn't you still didn't enjoy it? I'm enjoying Blue Ball now, so there you go. What can I say? It's a nice skin, isn't it? But there's no diving tackle. Like, obviously, I wouldn't—I wouldn't take it either. Like, sprint sure feet, blood sure hands is like perfect for a skin. Yeah. Two doubles. And no stats, like it's exactly how I build it. But no diamond tackle means that this is a three-two. Pretty easy to get around and get in the way. Yep. Skinks are weird. You don't want them to level until you want one to like have all of the skills. Problem is, I think it's just because you want all the agility skills. Because none of them are very good on their own. They're all just kind of bad and bloody. Yes. yes. I much prefer undead. They make me happy. Well, there you go. Moose. Play them. Cat, come here. 
Ah, he gets the tackle there. So the break tackle is now not really dealt with. <laughs> At all. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. It's still not dealt with. Uh, yeah. That's just, uh... I guess he can, like, threaten to surf after he dodges in, but... Yeah. You just kind of go for it. I guess. You just keep going for it. I mean, if nothing else, worse comes to worse, you get a mighty blow tackle hit on the best player on the other team. Well, worse comes to worse, you fail the dodging, but yeah, I mean, you've, you've got to go for it. And, yeah. uh... He's a bit unlucky to have to have been in this situation, isn't he, Sundin? Really, like that was that was a real bad mistake from Elliot. Um, yeah. I'm glad I'm not watching Elliot stream because he'll probably be very sad right now, <laughs> kicking himself for the next 17 hours. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty bad either. Like if he missed it, it was like it was just bad either way, right? Leave, yeah. Either leaving it on. Because he spotted it or missing it, either one's bad. Like being obviously the first one was bad. The second one, I think, was more good play from Sendane to find it. Um, this one feels a bit sloppy to a left on, but it's also hard to. This is he kind of ran too forward, forward maybe a bit too early with the deck because he just doesn't have enough players here to support the score. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's hard. The, the problem is like the the thing with the the Gaven Dakar is, it's a bit weird anyway because the only players that can come up are the gutters because they're your only mobile ones. So you you've just got to try and get lucky with getting <laughs> getting uh, the lineman out as well. Mm -hmm. Fails the dodge in, doesn't re-roll it. He's keeping it for the one turn. Oh, fair enough. He has he's got a couple of sidestep and sprint and sure He's got a sure hand, so he's got a shot at it, I guess. Yep. So now, Give me congratulations on uh, winning Iron Phoenix. It's a shame it wasn't a more prestigious league, <laughs> such as the SFL, which will be starting Season 9 relatively soon, and signups are open. Check go. out Jim's Discord for an invite to the, the SFL Discord. And it's great. It's a great league. Yeah. You I might it. even be in it. I don't know. Yeah, all right, sure. It. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about playing in it, and then maybe he's getting banned. But I'm also thinking about another season of BBSL, so... You know, it's I look it's forward to getting to ban Jim in the league again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's, everyone starts even TV, don't they? That's right. A couple of turns would be like a new record for Jim. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. A couple of turns. That's that's about on par with what I've done in the past. Bro, this would be the first time you would join the league without during a period where you weren't actively hating Blood Bowl. Yes, it would be, yeah, Calcium, that's why I'm thinking who, like, of doing it this time, yeah. Unlike Calcium, who comes in every time going, man, I hate Blood Bowl, I hate scheduling, and then signs up for the next season. <laughs> every time. Glorious. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% on it, but I'm, I might. I'm, I'm thinking about it. When do sign-ups stop, do you know, if you... If you... Uh, I haven't checked the numbers, we currently have signed up yet. I'll probably check sometime this week and check with... The other admins, Flicky and J5, and and see where we're at. Yeah, well, I'll still be thinking about it. I'll, st I'll still be thinking about it. It is it is fun that uh, Calcium continues to complain about a rule set that hasn't actually changed in like three seasons, and I'm pretty sure he voted for. So, <laughs> pretty sure he's one of the he might he might have abstained from the option to vote. But yeah, SFL is a league where coaches literally have to vote in with a two thirds majority every rule change we make. So. <laughs> kind of hard to complain. <laughs> For those that aren't aware, the rule changes are that we have and wizards piling on and have financial fair play every single game. Those are the major ones, anyway. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I would commentate on one final and like, uh, I like, I, I dissed, I dissed some choice on. Uh, uh, on yeah, Wolfpack's we'll like, team. Why doesn't and... he have piling on? You're like, you can't have piling yeah, on, Jim. Yeah, I'm like I hate Mighty Blow on this guy because you could just have piling on on the Blitzer. That was it, and then it was mm -hmm. like, but it was totally wrong. So it does make it does make things different. Like Mighty Blow on a Ghoul looks looks a lot better because you can't get piling on on a on a white and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to sign up, Dimmy? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, we could have we could have Dimmy and Jimmy in the SFR. It's relatively even TV. Yeah, teams uh, go into a draft. It's not purely even team value, but 
but it is more even. And in some ways, uh, drafted teams get a slight advantage because they can do more even development as opposed to having to do figure out how to trim down from the previous season. Mm. And all your players have gotten more expensive. You have to figure out how to get to 11 when you have like a 250 team value player that you want to keep. Mm. She actually paid. This is just a normal setup, it looks like. Did, wait, did he do a compact LOS here? Why? He did, yeah. I don't know. I do not know. I do not like the compact LOS. I think it is not as good as the gap. Yeah. It's, well, I mean, now you can just obviously just do a chain right into um, getting the skink up a square immediately. Yep, and he hasn't got tackle here. Shouldn't He, he should have tackle in the corner, shouldn't he? I think he should have tackle. Kick rat is a big deal here, actually. So, good for having kick rat. He can kind of put the ball in a place where it'll be hard. The... Mm, Maybe. It might be a big deal, obviously. Kick can be very... Kick is not as reliable as you'd like it to be. Yeah. And the thing is, like, okay, it, guarantee, it guarantees not getting a terrible kick. And it and it kind of guarantees getting a good kick. Oh, God, is he using the whole method? Don't use the whole method, man. You can't use the whole method. I think he's just figuring it out. Yeah, okay, he was just figuring out how he wanted to get... Because you can't get 3D. Like, if you could get yeah, 3D I, on the initial blitz, then sure. then that's I, pretty good. I think he's just trying to find a way to maybe get 3Ds on the fall looks or something. Mm. With, like, the Saurus, the th Strength 5 Saurus, the Block Mighty Blow, and the Crocs or something. I think this might be the plan. Yeah, Blitz about Block's fine. You just need the push anyway. Well, you don't actually yeah. need a pow. Yeah, so he probably should have been Blitzing with Block. You should Blitz with a Mighty Blow Block guy. Right? You, you can take a pow on the first hit. Oh, Riot. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can take a power on the first hit with a title, otherwise that's the thing, right? You power him there, and then this guy just punches and gets the second hit, so like... It's, uh... It, it's... The, the title OS is terrible. Just genuinely terrible. Yeah. Like the ordering, just get your guy into scoring range so that, you know, get something next turn no matter what. Yeah. Steve Motti. How many Raz does Elliot have? Uh, a few. This is the second Kaz and his Apo is gone. Okay, so that's he's at 10 now. Yeah, All right. capped at 10. Sindane has not had anyone removed, so he still has 11. Well, Very light team, Elliot doesn't have. Yeah. Elliot has, doesn't have Claw and he has been... He's maybe been a little unlucky not getting any skills, but he's actually been pretty much always having to blitz Saurus to try and free up the carry, so he hasn't really been able to poach at weak players as much as the um, Wizards have. Yes, yeah, so Elliot really wishes he had Claw. Like, imagine if he had a Claw Pommer that he could have just oh. smashed up, like, banged out the fucking Saurus easy, then it would mm -hmm. have been, been alright, but instead he's just had... Yeah, at least he's got two mighty blow tackles for Skinks, but yeah. amazingly he hasn't been able to kill all of the Skinks in the first half, I don't know. I don't know why that isn't. I mean, um, you know, Reddit tells me. You think he'd be able to? <laughs> yeah, Reddit tells me you can just kill all of the skinks. Simply, simply kill all of the skinks, and <laughs> they will be powerless to score touchdowns. <laughs> Definitely wanted the pow there because I think he wants to do this. Geo I think he wants to do the geofight and base this tackle guy pretty badly. He has only got on reroll though, so. Yeah. Crocs behaved at a nice time. Yeah. Maybe he should have waited doing that blitz, I don't know. Because it, it would be nice to... But I mean, if you yeah. base him, then you just get smashed by him, so... It's not, it's not like, even that I mean, good. if he's smashing the... Yeah, I guess... I don't know, it is kind of... It's, an axe. it's pretty easy for them to actually get that block, because they have so much movement, they can just bring players over yeah. and get in front while providing the assist anyway. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 plan, Dimmy, is to win SFL so I can I can sell I can sell the championship to Skuro and make him the winner three five eight nine. <laughs> I, I wanna repeat that as an admin you can't sell the championship, you can merely sell the rights to sell the rights um of selling the rights of the championship. Right. Well I'll I'll do that. <laughs> if I win. <laughs> <laughs> you got a we're a big believer in uh, crypto championships <laughs> I think I'm dealing with the thing
things you're saying pretty well, Skuro. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's King because it's scoring range. I had the second one, I wasn't sure if it was quite in range, but it's just barely in yeah. his sidestep, so you can't push it out anyway. Yep, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the this is why you don't like uh, base as well, right? If he bases, you can bang him and then yeah. get this guy behind, so. You don't also, the fun him. of Stunty that it really doesn't matter what the, what the Skaven do, he's <laughs> going to have a chance to just roll some skill dodges, three plus dodges to score. Stunty yeah. and Skink, sir. Hey, sure hands is a good skill. Well, hey, can he hand off this turn or not? No. I. I think I'd like that get a bit further ball to be further forward. up. I'd really yeah. like that ball to be further up this turn. I guess he is. I guess he's gonna rely on the sure feet, but like, look, look at this guy. He's like, he's he's two away. He could have definitely gone one further. Oh, yeah. I guess there's this gutter here. Oh no, okay. there's this gutter here. But still, right. I still think you go, you can go one further pretty safely. Yeah, probably. Because the fact is, you just can't pass, right? So if now he can't sidestep forward if he gets hit, which he probably won't get hit, but he can't sidestep forward, so that's. I think one, I like one further forward, but I guess it's no big whoop. I guess it's no big whoop. Oh my god. Elliot's big brain, whirring, trying to think. How many hands does a squirrel have? <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to give him advice and get him banned from Rebel, otherwise I would tell him that it depends on if his name's Acorn or not. <laughs> I don't know why the Skyrunner's running through the field. I actually don't quite understand what the goal was. He's, he's gonna, he's go gonna hit this guy, I guess. Or at least tag him. He, he doesn't have... I mean, he doesn't have blocks, so he could... I'm not sure. Alright, getting tackle in there. We're we gonna hit the one up the front. It's annoying. It's really annoying how hard it actually is to stop Blizzardmen from just having three pluses to score. Yeah. Like, it's so effing annoying how hard it is. Yeah, maybe he's gonna blitz and then get some, then double base this guy. Like, bl blitz the lead skin and then double base this guy. Or he's gonna leap blitz, like. blitz this guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And. This seems cool. very dodgy. Gets the power. Look a dog. See, but now he can't GFI hand off to this guy, right? Like, that's yeah. why he wanted to be a bit further, because now who else? Yes, and the size up has to stay there. There's the first cast for the lizards. And what, what a cast it is. Ooh, probably wants to echo that, actually. Wants yeah. to, I don't know if he can. Yeah. Yeah. Only 50 50 to work. I think you, I think you probably have to echo it, right? Because. You've all, you know, if you don't score, if you don't score this next drive, you've just lost. So you probably have to, even though it's a fifty-fifty. Oh my god! Nicely done, though, Eliad, to find the way to get this guy out of scoring range. Yeah. Now it's just a loner. Yeah, yeah, so that's great. And the, and the, and then the loner is still really difficult because this guy can't hand off to him. He has to pass, it's going to be over, it might be a agility five, pass over agility 5, etc, well, etc. Well, he passed to the other one, right, and then hand off to yeah. it. Yeah. It's terrible. Inventor! <laughs> Is there a chain somehow? Probably not. I actually don't think so. Though, it's I mean... It's not even nice hitting this guy. And no. plus you'd want to hit this guy anyway to reduce the tackle zones on him, so... Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you could. Oh, I wonder if you could like this guy could run through and blitz him, so you could block him and then blitz the other one. So he's got no tackle zones on him, and then you pass to this guy who ends up. That might be it. A four plus three plus three plus with a bunch of threes to get the dodge, and then the eating pals on both of them. <laughs> so you probably take the pal with the um, probably take the two DB with the uh, mighty blow source first to see what you get. Well, I guess you take the block on the um, Russell Gutter Runner with the Lizard, the Saurus first to yes. negate some assist. Well, yes. yes. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's got blocked. It's a complicated turn, so even things that seem obvious, might be, you might not want to do those in that order. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Who knows if there's anything better. Who knows if it's right or wrong. We need a global computer. Such and such. Jokes. <laughs> jokes, 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 jokes. Yep. Nah, nah I, bet you wished you, I bet you wished the ball was two squares forward now, eh? So you could just... If we didn't stop the league when we accidentally let Skuro into the playoffs when he conceded a game, so he should have had one fewer point in the standing, they shouldn't have made a wild card game, and then he ended up winning the championship. If we didn't stop the league after that, <laughs> um, when we let Skuro have an illegitimate championship and no one's really called him out on it, it's like, what's the point? Um, we weren't going to stop it for just Demi, Demi won. Wow. Wow. Controversy reigns, eh? Illegitimate championship. The winner, 3 5 8. Only <laughs> so, for 5, so he'd still be like winner 3. And he could still, still sell the rights for 8. Yeah, he'd still be winner 3. <laughs> it's won it once. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say he's like won it once and qualified and then won the playoffs a second time. So, I mean, he did win. He didn't. Yeah. And Ooh, of course, he's wow. definitely got full credit for season one. <laughs> There's a tackler here, isn't there? Oh, no, it's not on them. So one, two, three, four, five, and then GFI to 2D him. And then pass to this guy and then hand it off. You do any passes or any... Oh, you know what? Maybe you do the pass to the uh, skink first because... Yeah. That way you weren't risking all the dodges. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, do the pass first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just not I like it. That's just obviously correct. <laughs> yeah, it's just that you can. It's very easy to get tunnel vision, though, right? And not do that first. It's so easy to get a tunnel vision and not do that first. Yeah, there is there is concern that we've, we might have allowed Elp Meme and Fall Force into the league the same season, which that could be horrific. <laughs> Yes, and he is. He has done it in the wrong order. He should have done the pass first. But uh, you know, dice logic tells me that he rolled snake eyes. So everything would have failed, so none of his decisions matter. It's a shit game. <laughs> dice log logic. It's, uh, my favorite thing. Yeah. I, I look at. I made a four plus roll, and I rolled two ones. Snakes. No, nope, it's not how it works. You roll two dice less than a three. <laughs> I wonder if Sindane would have had a better chance at the one turn than that, to be honest. Now, but the problem know, is, of course, he would have yeah. he would have just got one turn back, so he could, he had to try a two turn. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. After the round. If it wasn't for the fact that he was playing rats, he might just go <laughs> push his ticket to scoring room sometimes. Because yeah. Yeah. it was because Elliot had left on a pretty easy one for him. It's hard. But I know I, I, there have been many times where I'm like, you know, I could just go for the one turn. I'll set up four, and this seems really easy. But and the two turn seems like it's going to be more dice ultimately. But then you look at the dodges at the back end, and you're not so sure about it after all. Yeah. <laughs> Spam carbonara. <laughs> Jim, do you agree with uh, Demi's assertion that Samba is cheating? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I don't think Samba is cheating at all. Um, I think it's just, I mean, you could use your brain, couldn't you, and find the, find the same results. Um, it's... I'm somewhat mixed on whether or not I think Samba is, is fair game to a degree, I, but yeah, it seems impossible. It, it's impossible to legislate at, in an online game, so I don't see the point in doing it. I do kind of feel... I'm not sure how I feel about it at a tabletop event, so I'm pulling out of their phone to check things on check stats, but yes. there's not much... Yeah. Yeah, or like a cheat sheet with how to do and an, how to do like yeah. a six movement one turn. Yeah. But you know, the 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 worst the worst rules things in uh in table you should have the biggest rules that you need in tabletop is like uh, personal hygiene rules. <laughs> personal hygiene and a chess clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're the two biggest ones.
Funny this, isn't it? This is a very, uh, very offset uh, setup from Eliod. It's not a job, no, that game. It's not. It's not a job, no. <laughs> like, I chuckled when I said it, but it's not a job. This is an interesting setup, I guess. Is he think it's the World Cup against Bernie? Um, <laughs> I guess this gives him the option to go for the ball or just run away. I guess I guess Elliot is is a big proponent of the runaway defense. Yeah. I mean, he's got the one turner right, so he could just play for. I get the one turn chance, and then I get the OT coin flip if ever yeah. things go pretty badly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And this protects the team the best. And it, and it also gave him, like, an amazing blitz chance, potentially. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. this is fair enough. I think Sunday did pretty well to set up against it. Not ideal. It was still pretty... It's it's hard. It's really hard to set up against the blitz and still have a decent offense, though. Well, Maybe I think he, he could have just to... put these guys, these skinks behind and the skink over yeah. here, and it's a lot better, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah. But this way yeah, the skinks are one square on the left. Time. It's probably safer. But yeah. you know, it's still also hard to stop against the when they have a fucking agility five leap that can just get whatever it wants. Yes, and of course, <laughs> problematic. <laughs> yeah, yelling, yelling blitz when you blitz is is was very very annoying. It was a rule at a uh, at a games workshop uh, store that I went to. Where there was a tournament, um, and I did not enjoy having a yell blitz when I blitzed. <laughs> Would wow. you rather uh, wow. have to yell blitz or yell wah? Oh my god, yeah. never wah. Wah is the literal worst. I like. That's why I do not like um, orcs in, at all. Oh god, yeah, wah is terrible. I can't believe you put those two down there and then abandoned them. That was pretty weird, wasn't it? The uh, two skinks? Yeah. Or... yeah I... No, I guess they were just there to cover the ball in case of a failure. And then you can move into a cage. And they're skinks so they can catch up. Because you don't think the Skaven are going to overexpose themselves by chasing them? Mm, I don't like it. I, I, where is that kick line rat going there? Yeah. I wouldn't hey, yell to Borky either. <laughs> I'll leave that to the experts. Okay, so Eliad's doing the runaway defense. He loves it. Yeah. There's no other explanation. Bang his skink as well, can't he? This is a thing. He's he's read he's been on Reddit, he knows he has to bang out the skinks. He's gotten one, so here we go. She just go for it. you're gonna go for one, just go for a sidestep guy. Yeah. But if you go for it you can get surfed, can't you? That's the that's the problem. Like if you know if you don't hit your seventy five percent, you get. If you get pushes, I guess you can get served. Yeah, but you still have square movement, so I guess you know it's just dodge. But yeah. dodge would be a four yeah. plus, depending on where you hit him from. Could it never be a four plus? Or, you can only hit him from here or here, and if you hit yeah. him from here, he sidesteps to there. And then, yeah, I guess it can sometimes be a four plus, but it shouldn't be a four plus. If you hit him from, from there, there, he square. sidesteps to there. No, uh, uh, you'd have a three plus back, yeah. No, he'd be, yeah, he'd be alright, you'd have a three plus back. Yeah. I do appreciate the lizards, like, saying, well, if you're not going to play offense, we're just we're still going to try and get in your face and fight a little bit. It's risky, but I think it's probably the right play to try and force the rats to do play defense and the get problem themselves is in when you, they can get hit. The problem is when you do this, you're just outnumbered now in the fight. You know? Okay, so I, I take it back. I, I hate moving breaking tackle man over there. I hate <laughs> getting the break tackle away from the ball. He's <laughs> really good in this matchup. He's really, really good. You know, like now, now this is five versus three over here. So now, now, mm -hmm. now Elliot outnumbers him here, so he can he can win this fight potentially. Maybe. Yeah. Or Isn't just leave them. He... Or just run away from everybody, and yeah. then and then slam in here. He's got these two as well. And then maybe he can have like he can leave three three on four over here and then outnumber around here. So it's pretty risky splitting your team. I don't like splitting your team. Like maybe go over there with everybody, but even then it's like yeah. Maybe you go over there with everybody and you try and 
I, I do think you need to try and force the fight, though, to force this game to play defense. Because you don't want to just leave it to a one turn. No. But then also you don't want to get sacked. <laughs> and you've got the ball and the strength two guy. And they've got Rackle and stuff, so... It's, uh, you know, they've got edge five leapers and that, so it's like, it's... It's all a bit risky, but and they're mostly just going to bang you out. By, by doing this, they're probably just going to bang you out. Yep. I know after my games against Muldripster, <laughs> he was a very, a very much a proponent of the lying down defense. And there we go, he does get banged out. Have you ever been banged out by rats? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've played many rats. Have I ever not been banged out by rats? <laughs> But you know, but uh, uh, you know, Muldripster especially, he basically never played defense. He just always, he always just did the whole, you know, blitz and foul and and fight. And then it's just shit because it's like you've got to try and go and fight him, but then you've also got to try and protect the ball while you're trying to fight him. And it, it's very difficult. I, I've been outbashed by rats with undead, with humans, orcs. <laughs> Rats are just more prone to out outbash you than uh, most elf teams because they, because every coach goes, I can make a three plus dodge or I could block you, so they just block you and you get take more hits. Yep. He's got a great hit here. Look at that. That, that one. It wasn't a double one because it was a tackle, but what a huge, what a huge hit this is there. The mighty blow. You have to take that three DB, yeah. Yeah, glorious. To. Uh, glorious guys. <laughs> I. Is there even a sir? Is there possibly a surf on here? No. No, not if he no, because he slides up to the right side. I had to look at that though and make sure because he's close enough that Elia oh yeah, made a mistake there. I think there was one on. If he had... Not really. Mm, no. No, he'd have committed too much. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you could, you could, you could surf this, this line. Then. Yeah, there's something. Anyway. But why isn't he just running away? Well, he tried. He, he, he there's a dodge roll he has to make. So yeah. failed. Yeah, he rolled a one. He rolled a one, Dimmy. Oh my god. I don't know what this cage is going to do. Is it just going to keep standing right here? Yeah, I guess that I guess that's his plan. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to um ask again. Is there a surf on here? <laughs> On the oh, Saurus? For, for, oh, for, for Elliot. For Elliot, yeah, probably yeah. for Elliot there is. He's dauntless. He... Actually... Oh, there actually is one. Okay. It, it's t way too risky. But there is one on for the uh, lizards as well. But it, they could surf the... Um, the wrestle... They could surf the wrestle uh, strength gutter. With a blitz. They'd have to run the ball all the way back to safety. Go around and hit block the Dauntless guy and then yes. chain him off the field. Yeah, yeah, they could. Filling in with the sidestep gut, sidestep skink on the sideline. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Maybe that's what he's it's, doing. Maybe that's why he's He probably should do it. He should run that skink all the way back and then you should probably get that strength guy. You should probably get the strength three risk that a runner off. You, should, you, know, you can. And you do it next turn, you can set up to do it next turn if it's safer, right? Maybe that's the point. Yeah. Because he's still going to be stunned. So. Obviously, all this shit isn't still going to be here. Running, might still running out of time. Yeah. M move. Move your players. <laughs> move your players. Alright, we're going. Oh, he's for going it. for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Flip me, guys. He's going for it. Or he's going to run out of time and let the ball completely expose one of the two. Woo! Move your players, move your players, move your players, move your players. Him on all three. Oh, no, he has to go on all three. You can't just let them... Oh, that's... I do not like that. Do I not like that? I think he had to... No, I think he had to tag all three. Oh, 
I mean, they'd all stand up anyway, but at least they, they wouldn't be able to move. Third dice mounted. Yeah. Maybe. Just deciding to follow. Glorious guys. Only a kill. Yes. But that might stop the one turn, right? That might yeah. stop the one turn. Well, one of the one turns. <laughs> one of the options, yeah. <laughs> the other one's stunned. He could... Could go for something on the next turn. But there's no hit on the ball. To st well, I mean, there's a gutter runner that can get to the ball. Always. But always a gutter runner that can get to the ball. It has tackle and wrestle. It's pretty likely to hit the ball down if it gets it. But it's going to be a couple dodges through PT, which, you know, no one's made a 3-plus dodge before in their life. No. So, basically, completely safe. Yep. There you go. Instant 4-plus. Instant 3-plus. Yep. Easy. Never fails. Hello, KLZ. Wow, what a, what a big meanie. Yeah, the problem the problem with running away with the skink was that it couldn't even get out of range. <laughs> scathing. Just scathing things. But no armor break, and so he does have sure hands, so he can just pick it up, but now the saw is impossible. Yeah, and look at these three. Do you know what I mean? Like, s s screening the whole field when they could have all been on one skink. Mm-hmm. Oh, go on. Go for the base, Eliod. Do the GFIs. <laughs> You have to do the GFIs. <laughs> you kind of actually have to do the GFI. It's just a 3+, plus, 3+. Plus. Make it a 4+. plus. Come on. Make the skink actually have to work and do another 3+, nah. plus to dodge. Make nah. the skink actually work nah. to score. No, 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 no. No, no. Because you don't, you don't want to fail and, and have him die. And you definitely don't want to reroll. If he scores, you win 2-1, don't you? So, you don't care if he does it. Like, I guess. Just don't fail. I mean, just don't fail is is good. But yeah, if he if he scores, it's fine. You win two one. Um, oh, well, he's doing it anyway. I, I guess that square is the same as any other square. On the left side, I don't see a difference. <laughs> Why wow, you're a big meanie, Kelsey? How can you? How can you be anti? How can you be anti Elliot? Well, unless you're Necronom. <laughs> but, um, shh. So, I... Oh, you blitz somebody and punch things, right? Uh, he's got... He's got team... Oh, he hasn't got a team reroll. He's got a tackle. Oh, shit. Well, in that case, maybe you don't do the safe moves first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could theoretically do a 1D... To get the, I think he can still dodge up and around, but it take me east because the GFIs now. So it's fu it's funny, isn't it, that that surfing that guy has probably lost in the match. Well, surfing that guy and not running the skink backwards, I think lost. I think you need to run the skink, not away I mean, if from. If he the runs rest. the skink skink backwards, he still gets hit by this this thing. It's just now it's near his own end zone instead of the opposing end zone. Well, he was he was a couple squares back, right? He was a couple squares back at the LOS. He could have run back further. Run backward, mm. further backwards, so the guy ran himself in and got him there. I think. Maybe. Yeah, he was too behind, wasn't he? So yeah. Dodgy. Though. Yeah. And then you can maybe bring the other skink over to cover better, and you don't have to worry about those other planarize or something. I'm not sure. Oh. Ah, oh, he's okay. doing the blitz. Doing the blitz there, so he doesn't have to do the three plus. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite, I quite okay. Like that. I think that's the right play. That's a, yeah, just a four plus. Easy. Yeah, but he's also probably going to lose two. Yep. It is definitely Skaven favored now. Yeah. Let's see what the KO roll is, though. They are pretty important. Which Feist Ooh. is out. So there's ten, ten lizards and nine Skaven. It's hard though, and it's hard to deal with rats. Hello, Flicky. 
H5 is in. Oh, it's strength four. It's strength three, isn't it? Fuck me. Sorry. I, I knew what I meant. <laughs> I knew what I meant. I'm just not on top form today. Sorry. I did the whole weird steal up all night <laughs> thing again. <laughs> my, uh. Yeah, my sleep schedule is. odd. It's, um. Kind of dubious to even claim you have a schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Last I checked, it was uh, Jim goes to bed when he hears birds. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, I'm or not when the yet. stream notices that there are birds. Yes, yeah, I've had that before. I've, <laughs> I've noticed birds on people's stream and thought, oh, it's pretty late <laughs> and stuff. And yeah, I have heard birds in the um, A Spanish coach with an Instagram full of cat. Yeah. yeah uh, um, is that a euphemism? No, no, or... it's fine. Oh, okay. He has his, his, his Instagram is for weightlifting and his cat. Okay. That means Instagram, so I can't, I'm never quite sure. <laughs> or not. <laughs> He's not Scottish, no. He lives in Scotland. He is Spanish. He has a cat. And he lifts weights. There you go. Cats are one of the three things the internet is for, so that makes sense. Yeah. He's Scottish. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I hope Try doesn't find me its Instagram. <laughs> oh, dear. Brilliant. Oh, sorry, Stop. Was the was there a raid there? Um, it only the alerts only trigger off off at least ten man raids. So there was a sad a sad lack a sad lack of uh, flicky flicky gif. <laughs> Sorry. No, he, he removed a skink look. Did exactly what they said he should do. Two two fifths of the way to having won the game. Yeah. I'm sure that's more important than just having a, a chance to score a touchdown. Just, if he needs that there are other three, then it's just a win. It's a concede win. Mm. That's actually the real secret, is if you remove all of uh, Sor Lizardman team's uh, skinks, they're actually forced to concede. So it's really optimal to go for that in Chalice, where they have they will then be banned for the next season, so not only winning the game, you're getting rid of a good coach. <laughs> yep. So, uh, poor show for, showing from Eliod to not have done Focus on doing that. Yep. <laughs> Start taking some stick here. <laughs> well, you know, probably deserved it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> sure, like half the chat has had, had him scum a wizard against them, so. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> a 70% coach, I'm not very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Instant bonehead. <sighs> oh wow, star. Never lucky. I mean, this is tricky for the uh, for the lizards to defend, isn't it? He just needs to uh, protect his break tackle tackle. Hope Eliod gives him a golden opportunity again. And uh, this time he doesn't roll shit dice and actually turns him over and wins. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there you yeah. go. That helps. Uh, if there was a liner out to have lost, kick is probably a... Store yeah, side. I don't... And send him packing. Boy, howdy. Dimmy sent a lot of people packing, hasn't he? Just quietly.
I don't think Demi's ever lost a game that he talks about. <laughs> that's that's maybe true. <laughs> Skuro's never lost an SFL championship that he talks about. <laughs> Look at that, never lost versus Rick. He is the champ. He is the champ. Fuck, it doesn't be around the age, does he? <sighs> oh. Yeah, it's sent packing. I don't think I've ever played Dimmy. Like, obviously, we haven't played in CCL because you can find it out, but I don't think I've played him in, in any other thing either. Hmm. Not even BBSL. Oh yeah, I played him in BB3, yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, thanks, Timmy, yeah. A game that's never talked about. Because it's Blood Bowl 3. I don't 3. think anyone would want to watch BB3 to watch yeah. uh, Demi Jimmy gameplay. <laughs> it was cool, though. I, I diced the pants off him. I diced the absolute pants off him. <laughs> and, uh, but the fact Dimmy was on comms made it, made it bearable, so that was all right. Yep, did an amazing chain push, guys. Yep. Dauntless. Do you dauntless the Saurus to a uh, surfing? No. Yeah, that's the thing, Jimmy. You see, Chunter always advocates people doing uphill blocks, but what he doesn't realise is, <laughs> for us, the uphill blocks fail. <laughs> <laughs> it makes them substantially worse. Yeah, I quite like this using using him to get the assist to get level one D. You kind of got to do it, haven't you? And the two D even you can get him in. You can scave him. And and then you I can. I don't think break tackle him. can get in here. Just uh no, Demi. He's done a good job of spacing it out one more, so it's multiple dodges now. And I don't think he can go around over the top. Over the top. Great Stallone movie. Not really great. It's not it? such a good thing to hear in the early 20th century. War jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Do you just go for the Saurus dodge here? Uh, I don't... One, two, no. three, four, <laughs> five... I don't think you actually need to. You can go around the top with a two dice um, pow on the vermin. And you can bring uh, the Croxon to base on the back and then have an assist and assist and still have a player for recovery. And they go around the top with break tackle. No. Can you not? No. This guy's in the way. Guard is in the way, you'd have to. You'd have to go One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You do a four plus dodge. You would have done a. One, two, three, moved him four, five, where he stood. It is, yeah. Yeah, you go through the uh, tackle. You go right to the right of the uh, guard guy and you go straight down. No, you can go to the right too and do a three plus dodge. No, I, yeah, I don't again. believe that's correct. I think you have to move it was two GF5s. No, I think you had to move through the guard. Like, just genuine. I don't know where he was, but that's what I thought. Okay. I... Yeah, I think you stood where this skink was. Yeah, so, one, two, three, four, five, six... And you've got to dodge through, then you've oh, got to go through the guard. Three. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right, you had to dodge through the guard. Okay, I was, I was counting... One square too well. I was miscounting one square, yeah. Oh, well, he's got, he's got the, he's got the skink heroics. Hasn't got wrestle. And now Eliod can leap. Like he has to re-roll it. He has to uh, once you've got. I him. guess you have to go for you have to give power hunt here, yeah. Yeah, you have to. Pushes. Get to. Got it. Look at that. Fuck off, Demi. Rewarded oh, with dice. Him. The recovery is pretty bad unless it's got, unless it gets a good scatter here, of course. But yeah. an armor break helps a lot. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, he nearly caught it. And he nearly caught it Come again. On. And he nearly caught it again. And now it's in two tackles on both the sidestep. Holy moly. 
All right, that's pretty. That was a pretty good result, wasn't it? Does he GFI? No, he's based by tackle. He does not. Yes, dodge. yeah, he's based by tackle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you sit right there, and you force them to get these tackles off the ball because they don't have agility five to recover it, yeah. and they only have um two. They only have two gutter runners, so they can't. And so they can't really clear the ball and run away from you. They can pick it up and like maybe recover into stuff, but they can't really get away from you next turn. So you still, you should have break tackle to engage in the turn after this. Yeah, this is a really nice. And turn one's based by the Crocs as well, he? so it's all ropey. He was he was pretty like he was pretty lucky to obviously get the, the dodge in and the power. Yes. It was a really good turn though. Like re this is horrible for Aliot. It was very good, very good play by. Uh... Sindane. And maybe, mm -hmm. obviously, an element of bad play the previous turn from Eliod to allow this to happen. You know, like, that's it, right? You know, like, the, there's... It uh, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? So it's like... it's n You're never really sure how much is... But, like, I think it was definitely, definitely good from Sindane. You scatter the ball here. Ever. Mm, no. I like no, because he's in the way, so it's more dodges, isn't it? It's glitz we can't okay, hand off. I, you can't hand off here, can you? On a four plus. Well, you can't. With a you four plus dog. No, that's the to thing. Get you just run away, I think. Yeah, that's all you can do. Feels pretty bad because <laughs> it being on Russell makes this pretty bad. Yep. You have to dodge this other gutter runner out, obviously, to try and form some kind of wall in front of him. I think you just Maybe go you just around. First. Use dodge. The one. Oh! Team reroll has to come out. It's oh. double one. That is a great fail square, though. Yeah! A really yeah. good fail square. Yeah, yeah that's actually <laughs> Not even great. joking, like, that is a great fail square. Yeah, it's actually great, yeah. Yeah. That's maybe better than making the dodge, in fact. <laughs> you do three dice with the crocs for a pow, no, for a push, to get the sores with guard to be the one that does the block on the ball. Um, you could have chained this guy forward. Um, okay, you really can't chain him forward now. You could have tried to chain him forward. You yeah, don't I mean, want to do a one. You've got to. You you've got to. You've got to. You've got to try and block with the Crocs. You have to because you have. I to. think you go. Um, you put the assistant with the side step on the right, and you make it a three DB. And you, if you get the pow, then no, you can get a push, and then the block yeah. source can come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this is a GFI, GFI though. So you. It's a GFI, but it's a three DB with block, and you want them, and you want the wrestle to give you the option to still go pick up the ball with your. Yeah, with your, yeah, uh, you have to be able to accept the wrestle. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you don't have any tackle to go pow hunting here. And even yeah, and you can take and even the Crocs boneheads. Then you can go, then you go for the blitz with the uh, skank, I guess, which sucks. But okay, Crocs blitz. <laughs> what? No, it's not going for the Crocs blitz. Pushed him down. Okay, so now, now he's, he's going to go block for the pow. Uh, I... Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he had, he had the 2D, there. didn't he? And then he had the 3D, so this was... Yeah. This was safer in a way, but I preferred going for the initial 3D, just seeing as you've only it's got... It's safer, but you needed pow... You needed pow as opposed to um, yeah. a push. And it's, not, it, it's only arguably safer because... Yeah. At the end of the day, like, okay, the, the 3D has got... A, you know, one in twenty-seven to fail, but it, it, it well, no, it hasn't, has it? <laughs> oh yeah, tackle on the skink now as well. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So like, you've you've got oh god, yeah, you push tackle. On, oh god, that was terrible, wasn't it? Oh well, yeah, okay, that was terrible. Yeah, that was totally terrible. He's done some out. really good things, but this was this was terrible. This 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 thing. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's fu he's fucked himself. Yeah, I think he had to open with three D. Doesn't matter. Who knows, with two more dice, he might have got him down. Yeah, two more dice, could have been a both down even. So now... Uh, now, fortunately, both 
all the other rats are laying on the ground. Mm -hmm. But it's gutter runners, so it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, and he's away and he needed to take that block with the uh, other source too. He needed to take that block just to go for a pow. Yeah, I don't know what source. his idea was to like, because it free it frees up the source as well, doesn't it? And if he uh, okay, it leaves him three plus away to like hit right. to hit a skate like, or whatever. But so what? He need players next turn more than the Skaven do because the Skaven. Yeah, I don't think you have any idea. Yeah, don't get me wrong. He's probably. Too busy kicking himself though <laughs> for this yeah. for this Crocs massacre where he should have. He should. Maybe if he hadn't used the reroll, he pushes are bad too. I, I don't know. I think he just. I honestly think you're. It's a high rolling to go for the power and the removal there. Honestly, or a power and a stun just so you have players freed up. Well, the thing you is, he did he did get to do it with the Saurus, didn't he? Like he did get a, yeah. you know he did get to put the reroll in with the Saurus hit, whereas you don't get to put the reroll in with the Crocs hit. But I think it was worth. Having that increased, like outright fail state, because yeah. you only need the push to clear it and stuff. Yeah. But you know. Also, what he could have done was he could have put in two players in here, and then he could have chained the mighty blow, block mm -hmm. guy forward. Then he would have been in range to do it, and like you know, free to do it would have been pretty good. But I mean, he hit him once, didn't he? And then I guess yeah, he wasn't there. Russell. Nice use of Russell there. I guess he thought that the um, possible sidesteps that were bad, like he could sidestep directly to the left and like pluck us for a movement or something. I don't know. If you want to do the dodge. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? That must be very big brain from Eliad. I don't understand. To not go for the pow to get the yeah, player off. Yeah, that's yeah. What it was, Looks like he wanted that square. Break tackle source, the time is now for you. Oh, oh break tackle. Pass to the next GFI. Well, can't even GFI again? Of course that it. I don't know. No, that's it, he's done he's done two. He's done two so that he can reach unless he gets powered. With a minus two DB, well, he can go and bring in assists, I guess, to make it a one DB. Oh, you know what? He can bring in agility five, cancel the other assist with the, and go for a one D push and just push yeah. him out of range. Yeah. Okay, that's what you have to do then. Get the one guy who can get you out of the game. Yeah. Imagine if he powered that guy last turn. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I, mm. Maybe just gonna form oh, a screen. screen in front of, yeah. Forming a screen in front's probably. Mm. Yeah, do more. It's uh It was a. You got a three plus. You've either got a some two pluses to form a screen, or a three plus to. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. That felt like that was more dice than it needed to be. Yes. But I, I guess but, he had he had rerolls on them. Alright, so now though we take the POW uh, we go for a POW on the Blitzer, obviously. And then I think you do the dot think you do the uh six up, five up. Uh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Yes, you've got to chain him. You've got to chain him. And okay. Then, then, oh, yeah. You can, then okay, then yeah. You can, can you get a... Yeah, you have a skink. You can definitely get a player up there to yeah, yeah. fill the other hole, can't you? Oh, yeah, you go for the chain. That's a good shot. Can you shoot a... Pro can you shoot... Can you shoot a play, guys? <laughs> Lovely chain here. <laughs> GFI, I think it is for this guy to get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. One, two, three, four, Could, um, five, six. GFI. Yeah, so it takes can you a cut GFI. A corner? Yeah, you can't cut a corner because of. Um, yeah, tackle. You can. You could do two dodges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not the way. Oh, wait. 
Can you get around back with oh, the um, you know, yeah, mighty blow? You don't have tackle. So you can push him to there, and then he's one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. So it's one GFI to get there, but. Can you get can you get the skink, the other skink in front of us to make it a three DB though? Yeah, or recovery, yeah. But two D with tackles better than three. Oh, but then he's got wrestle, so maybe the three D is better even without tackle. I think you have to get this other skink in for the assist. Yeah, yeah, the skink can get in pretty easily here for the assist too. Yeah. Okay, this is well, this is better. I think this is just better. Because now you also have sidestep that can be possibly basing the ball as well with yeah. the scatter. Does he dodge? I think you probably dodge is right for the one and nine. I think you do the GFI because you wanna. No, you do. I think. <laughs> You me, have me to up. have the reroll for the hit and the GFI. Yeah. Where are you pushing the carrier on the block? Is I guess the question that's pertinent here. Ah, uh, yes, true. Because you could GFI there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be better. But then, yeah. So I guess you get a bit of payoff by GFI in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep, base the one guy who's going to be here. Oh, he's just doing oh, 2D. Okay. He's yeah, going for the recovery. So he's doing it for recovery then. Okay. Obviously, we roll this. And then we need to get the other skink. I guess now you have the skink for reactivity to get in front of us somehow. Yeah. Yeah, then he can go there. Okay. There's no way. Uh. I think you croc. Yeah, croc dodging doesn't matter because he doesn't have um. No, you can you can dodge this guy to go up there. Yeah. The croc dodge doesn't matter though because he basing the. I guess you could do a croc dodge to force the agility five to make a two plus roll, but I don't think that matters. No, you can't. You can't block him. You can't block him. You have to dodge the Saurus at the end. Come on, do the skink play. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stuff doesn't matter. Yeah, this guy had be... to do the dodge, right? Uh, I think he wanted to be... think that skink's in the wrong square, because I think he can get... Do you think one... One, one further up, one so further. you can't just... You can't just blitz for a push to make it a two-plus dodge. Yeah, I guess it has sidesteps, so it doesn't matter. You can just dodge at the back and hand off as well. Yeah. So that's why I would have wanted this guy to dodge. Yeah, you want the end. Saurus up there. Make the 5 plus roll. He's gotten all the removal, so now he's looking pretty good if it gets to overtime. Yeah. But well, this Which is really easy, isn't it? 3 2 with dodge and then a 2. So, like. Is there yeah, any I'm... chain on here to help out this play? I don't think so. He has no reroll, so it's a 3 2 and then a 2. Yeah, no three two rolls. with dodge. Three two with dodge and then and then a two without anything. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to make it better than that. He's got nobody he's got no other players relevant. Do the so the lizards have any scoring threats? His movement six sort oh, uh croc source on the left is not in range. He's one square out and yeah, he cannot so, be changed into range. Oh so he should have followed, right? If you're gonna make that hit then you follow so you've got scoring threats. There was actually upside to making the block, except he yeah. didn't utilize it. <laughs> yeah. So yes, yeah, so you there and, was an upside to making that block, but I would have definitely dodged him. I would definitely And I don't five, see a way to chain any of the skinks into range either. So this is either going so Sundane is either drawing or losing at this moment. Okay. Yes. Yeah, he, I think he had to get. He had to go for this five. Dodge, dodge. dodge. Works. All right. One in five out of six times he wins. He wins. A scoring threat with zero turns left. Fuck's sake, Chunter. <laughs> <laughs> Chunter, no, you're not Chunter. Squirrel. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Look, sometimes I forget that uh, turns exist, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. Oh, there you go. Not everyone's as good as Lizards as Boily Boy. <laughs> <laughs> counting, counting for the win. Um, yeah, so he he absolutely had to dodge there, didn't he? That was that was definitely a mistake. 
Like, this just doesn't matter. Okay, Matt's saying for GG's in the chat yeah. now, I guess. Assume and then Elliot's gonna go walk it in. Yeah. Sindane played well, I thought. I thought he found some yep. plays that were better than we found, which, you know, I mean, no big ups for me, but it's pretty good if you can find better plays than Jim. Especially <laughs> in your in game, not watching, when it's easier. Yeah, yeah. Though he, he did know his guy had break tackle, so that helped. <laughs> But I thought I thought the turn where he went in on when he closed in on Elliot was really good, um, and you know it's like obviously he kind of got a little bit lucky getting removed himself with only eleven lizards. Like it could have it could have easily slipped away from him right with Randor removals. Mm -hmm. um, so he was kind of lucky to stay in as long as he did with like they're so, they're fragile. The weird lizards like they're so dominating like when they're not down men, but they're so fragile to actually yes. losing men it's like it's it's they're a weird mix and obviously they're a team know. that can feel like it's on a razor's edge where they are completely crushing or suddenly everything's falling apart and they're terrible yeah exactly yeah. and obviously Elio's a great player and a great team but i think he i think he made a mistake for sure with the uh, the break tackle obviously uh that was that was pretty pretty bad but he got away with it so there you go confirm yep. Elliot confirmed the DACA was good commiseration Sindane thank you very much scroll dude and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>